Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Metopia. Today we are rolling around with old Thomas the Tank Engine, and we've also got Leafa, one of the fairies, one of the guardians behind us. Looks like we're going to need another four gems to get through that doorway then, that's all good. Let's make our way down to the next story objective. So I'm guessing we're going to save one sister at a time, but maybe the second sister will be more difficult to rescue than the first. And I'm curious as well as to whether Leaf is actually going to help us in these combat scenarios. She doesn't currently appear in the, like, the team menu. Yeah, look, she's not on the bottom screen either, so maybe not. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, give him a little thwack. It might just be like Bellsprout. Remember when Bellsprout was just sort of stood to the side, not really doing a great deal? He was just sort of there chilling out. Oh! Oh, there was some speech marks. I don't know who hit it, though. Maybe I'll slow down the next fight so I can actually have a little look at it properly. And of course, we've got abilities now, haven't we? And just a second ago, I was like, I'm sure that second menu icon was, wasn't great over. All the game tickets in the world as well. I like that the tank is going at the front. That's like, that, that appeases me. That makes me feel better about the tank class. Right, let's see what we've got then. Right, it is one forest goblin. Don't even know if it will survive to get to an attack from Leafa, if she even does attack, but we'll see what happens. Right, Thomas's turn. He's going to eat a banana. Good. Right, now, does she do anything? Ah, she does. So I'm guessing she's going to chip in with a bit of damage, but I imagine she's not targetable as an enemy, um, or as an ally, should I say. So I bet, the, I bet the goblins and stuff just can't attack her at all. So that's going to be good. I wonder if she has any other abilities. Like if she had, like, a heal or some kind of, like, resurrect. That'd be pretty cool. All right. Oh, he's got a war cry. What were Thomas's? I guess it would be, um, toot toot. <laughs> I was going to say newt newt, but that's the wrong that's the wrong thing entirely, isn't it? Like, newt newt would be, uh, pingu. There we go. Toot. Oh, my God. I've got such fat fingers. I can't press this keyboard. There you go. I wish they would let you do this with a D-pad. Oh, God. Hold on a minute. Toot toot. No, no. Go on. There you go. Got it. Go. There you are. Their friendship's going to go up a little bit. Oh, no, maybe not. They were just getting to fill out details about the character that they don't currently have. It's kind of a clever way of doing it, isn't it? If the person who created the original me hasn't bothered with that, then you're all good. Why does Leifer appear in the top corner? Oh, a new ally! Here we go. Looks like someone wants to join your team. So, who are we going to pick? I'm going to go to the comments section in the last video and see if there were any suggestions. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. Okay, so somebody wanted me to add, I don't even have a QR code loaded up for this yet, but the top comment on yesterday's video with 63 likes is for the princess class, can we add this character? <laughs> this, is, this is the best it's going to get. Okay, look at this preview image right here. Kenny McCormick from South Park. Because obviously in the stick of truth, he was Princess Kenny. Everybody wants Princess Kenny in this Let's Play. So we're going to make it happen. Here we go. I don't know how this is actually going to play out, but we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> yes, okay, good, good, good. Um, what kind of sort of trait would you have? I would say cool. Kenny's pretty cool, isn't he? Like he always tells like Cartman to sod off and he's like, he is his own person. He likes what he wears. Oh, Princess Kenny, yes. <laughs> Good job, right? There you go. If it's only ever a tiara and, like, a little fan that he holds as well, that means his, like, visual appearance shouldn't change all that much, which is fantastic. Look at him. <laughs> Princess Kenny. Brilliant. Oh, my God, that mouth is humongous. Why does it look like his eyes are a butt? Oh, okay. That's a whole different face. Now you've become a Goomba. What is going on? Kenny joined the team. Okay. Let's continue on as we were. Uh, let's throw Kenny into a room with Love God, seeing as uh, Thomas and Love God have already got a little bit of a relationship going on. Although he's looking for Thomas, so that was all short-lived. <laughs> That's a, like the shortest turnaround ever. All right, they're just talking to each other. Relationship goes up to level three. There you go. Now we definitely need to change them back because otherwise Kenny's not going to be friends with anybody inside of here. Uh, we've got some grub and also some clothes to buy for Love God. Look at that. I like that. I'm going to just let Love God wear whatever he buys. Unless he doesn't buy it. Come on, Love God. You're kidding me, dude. 40G given back. It's not what we wanted, man. Right, let's have a look then. Let's see what we can do. We've got some uh, fluffy marshmallow for you. Um, yeah, what are his stats actually? Seven attack, seven magic, HP and MP are relatively low, or at least his HP is very low. I could definitely do with raising that. You don't even like it, come on. What about the chicken curry? Oh, there you go, at least you like that one. 
yeah, God, the, the princess class looks a bit naff at the moment, but it is level one, so it's bound to catch up uh, any time now. Let's quickly go to the arcade and go to the roulette wheel, because... Uh, actually, no, it's just fluffy marshmallow. I was just going to see if there, any of the apparel was, like, on a high rating at the moment, but it wasn't. Right, we want to bring Princess Kenny with us and get cracking. Oh, no, <laughs> it's Quizmaster time. At least I think it is. Are you, are you technically on the Quizmaster point? No, I don't think you are, actually. Okay, interesting. It's like, that's got to be the shortest distance to ever travel to get to the Quizmaster, then. Like, the shortest line we've ever had between points. All right, let's do this thing then. I'm intrigued to see what Kenny's ability is. So let's rush through that one first. Here we go. Kenny's turn. So he just found a weak spot and that was about it. Right. Not a fan of the fan so far. Although, having said that, it's only level one. So the damage will increase over time. Wow, you do have another ability. You made the goblin dance. Awesome. So is that similar to how a guy used to do it, where like they used to miss a turn if they were too busy like jamming out? Probably. There you go, level two for Kenny. One HP, MP, defense, magic, and attack. Two speed. And he learned Regal Dance. I almost said that wrong. Regal Dance. Teach enemies a splendid dance. If they join in, they lose a turn. Brilliant stuff. Uh, I don't know why I give the bonus XP to me just then. Oops, I was mashing A, my bad. I'll make sure I give the bonus XP to somebody else next time. Probably Kenny, to catch him up. So huge. Look at that thing. Oh, careful, love God. No, 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 you're gonna get drenched. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could. I'm glad those guys found it as funny as I did. Good job, team. Good job. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling. To be honest, I'd love it if Leafa stayed with us. I wonder if maybe when you finish this area, you instantly get Leafa as an ally. I feel like they would let you know in advance if maybe that was gonna happen. Oh, there we go. Banana for Thomas. Good. He's back up health-wise. A little bit of relationship on the go. Come on. Where's Leafa's sister at? Are we getting to the end here? Is it about to drop down? Ooh, wait. I thought Kenny was about to fall over. You're pretty cool, Kenny. Hmm. But the other day, I know you wet the bed. <laughs> How did you find that out? I was just kidding. Oh, Kenny, mate. No. That's awkward. That's super awkward. By the way, all of the rumors about uh, Chef Ramsay still reading those. Like, they, they come in, like, every day, pretty much still. Like, whenever I load up my phone, it shows me the latest comments on my channel as a whole. And there'll just be the occasional one where it's, like, gossip about Gordon. And then, like, followed by the line of it. Uh, right, so we've got a thousand bucks right now. Which means we can afford all the armor right now. Was that cardboard? I never read it before I bought it. It is, yeah. Cardboard tank. GG. All it's missing is some, like, cereal box flames on the side of it. And it would look like the real deal. It'd be the fastest tank ever. Right, there you go, Kenny. Get yourself a Japanese fan. Yeah, he bought it. Good lad. Good princess. Equip that one as well. Attack up to 10. Magic up to 10. It's pretty good. And then do we have any grub from that last encounter? We don't. All right. Let's set on back out then. Let's just blast through this. I wonder how many areas in the end we're going to have to explore before we get to, like, the end of the game. You know what I mean? Like, how many more times are we going to have to lose our entire party and get up to level 10 again? Wait there just a minute! Who has a never-ending thirst for fun and games? Only me, the quiz master. Let's get to it. Let's play. Silly! Silhouettes! Da -da -da. All right, three questions. Let's begin. Question number one. That is Thomas. Because that is a round, balding head. There it is. I say balding, bold head. There's not even a single follicle on there. Uh, that would be Kenny, I want to say. Yeah, cool. That was a close one. Right, what next? Question number three. That one would be Luffy. I know my Luffy any day of the week. Yeah, there you go. What did we win this time, Quizmaster? Whoa, you did great, mate. Today's grand prize is a total of how many coins? None, mate. You're getting bananas. One for each finger and thumb on your left hand. That's a good thing. I got five then, isn't it? Uh, let's go get that golden snurp, by the way, because he's going to drop some serious dollar if we kill him. Here we go. Let's have a little attack at this. See how long the snurp takes to kill. We might not even be high enough level to do this. Snurps can hit pretty hard sometimes. Oh, damn. All right. Let's go for... Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's use the sprinkles first. Get Thomas back up so we're not worrying about... 
him trying to recover himself. There you go. Good job. Right, let's try our ability then, if it's actually an offensive one. Let's see. Gentle Fragrance. Restore HP uh, with the floral aroma. It's not. All right, let's get attacking them. Ooh, 12 damage. 14. Mm, 19. And that's about, what, 28? Right, hold on. Let's see what kind of um, health it's got right now. Oh, okay. So it's, it's got actually quite low health. We can probably take this out in one turn as long as we all nail our attacks. Nice. Good start. Good. Let's just have a repeat of last time. Good. And then you hit for nine. Oh, you hit for seven. Just short. I'm guessing that golden snurps don't run away. I don't know why, but like, you know, whenever there's like creatures like that in any other RPGs, there's always that worry and risk that they're going to just leg it from you. Like if you don't kill them quickly enough. Got a better dollar out of it though. Right. Let's get ourselves back onto the trail. Here we go. So we're probably going to have to go past the, the amiibo girl. I imagine after this point, it will drop us to beneath the amiibo girl. And then when we go on the path, we'll have the choice of going up or to the left. So, that'll be fine. Tomato, tomato, tomato. I love to sing because I'm not tomato deaf. Oh, God, Kenny, please don't. You're red-blooded, red-hot tomato. Some stuff in this game really cracks me up. And some of it, I'm just like, oh, oh Nintendo, why? Why you do this? But then that twerky just crushed all of them. <laughs> it really, really did. Right, what we got? Loads of goblins. All right, this is your time to shine, love God. You can thwack all of them in one go. Let's do this thing. Nice. 11 damage, 15 on that one. Now, can we kill it off? Or is Tank going to waste it on that one? Yeah, he did. Okay, fair play. So they've all got about upwards of 20 health each maximum. Let's go for it again. Yeah, I thought, oh, I thought maybe the first one was going to go down there. Apparently not. Kenny, why are you burning for our bananas, mate? We're only down to one now. You're doing it as well. What's going on? Maybe I should focus a little bit more on healing my allies, seeing as I'm the one with the uh, the magic use. Saves us going through items. Because the items are good because they can obviously heal us whilst we're, like, on the way towards the next encounter. Right, level four for Love God. Two HP and MP. One magic defense and speed. He's got the... Le he learnt Life Dew. Okay. Like Morning Dew. Get a fallen friend to wake up and smell the flowers. Nice. So we actually have a proper res. That's amazing. Uh, two HP, one MP, defense, magic, and attack for Thomas and Kenny up to level three as well. Uh, HP three, MP three, one speed, defense, and attack. Two magic. And he also learned Royal Wave. Oh, yes. Hello, my subjects. Slice an enemy in twain with a quick gust of air. In twain. What does that mean? Hold on. Google define twain. Archaic turn for two. Oh, okay. Sure. There's me thinking Shania was going to get a mention. Right. What we got? Uh, level three for you. So let's get you catching up with us at level four. Lots of goblin ham as well. We know that Love God's one of the only people that likes goblin ham. So I wonder if anybody else will partake in it. What we got? Oh, green snurps. All right. Let's just get straight in on the attack with them. A lot of them have got way better speed than us at the moment, it seems. Like, they're all getting the initiative on us. Oh, here we go. New skill. His weird Goomba face. <laughs> there you go. Nice. One hit kill. Sliced him in two. In your face. Go on then, Thomas. Have a little chomp. Right, you're back up to normal then. I might give uh, Love God a little try in a second. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. As soon as the combat encounter's over, I might as well just attack. If times get dire, then I will use Love God's heal, but it just seems like brute forcing our way through at the minute is doing a good job. To be fair, most of this game has just been brute forcing. We've really not had to, like, conserve health that much. Right, we got Kenny leveling up to level four, I want to say. Uh, one HP, attack and magic and defense. Two MP, two speed. Bonus XP, though, for Kenny again. There you go. Now we're all basically leveled out, which is good. So we'll go back to focusing on Love God as being the, uh, the one getting all the bonuses. Getting all the treats and the sweets. It's interesting that it shows Lee for following the party as well. As in going into the inn. New, a new ally? Ah, oh, no. Let's continue playing. Yes, please. I was hoping we were going to get a new ally just then. Right, what can we buy for people? An MP suite? Nah, you're all right, mate. Let's try some feeding. Let's try this goblin ham with people. So, Love God likes it. Thomas, not so much. Kenny. Really doesn't like it. Damn. No one likes goblin ham other than Love God. He's literally the only character we've ever encountered that I think liked it. I think maybe Guy was normal to it as well. But it's just such a low ratio. All right, let's have a look then. So, yep, yeah, there's a path to you. Oh, I was about to say. It almost like it was forcing us to go in there then. I was like, no, nothing put a story icon on her. 
Is this some kind of orange cave? The hell? Yeah, citrus cave. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's get cracking then. Kenny kind of blends into this place quite nicely. I wish his evasion would go up if he had that going on. Right, here we go then. Asuna's in this cave. Wait, how do you know? Meh, just a feeling. Sure. Come on then, let's go. Uh, uh, okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, Leifa. You know your sister-in-law better than we do. Are they married? I don't think they're married in the show. Although I haven't seen the film Ordinal Scales, so they could well be married in that if they feature in it whatsoever. Uh, right, let's get in on these attacks then. Big old thwack for you two. So 14 damage on the left, 9 on the right. Oh, here we go, another new skill. Regal Dance. Anybody joining in? Nope. Nope, they're, they're, neither of them are dancers. All right, so you had about 20 health tops. What about you, mate? That's 20 already. Let's see how we finish you off. 30, okay, cool. So, 20 on that guy, 30 on the other one. That's only, like, what killed them. Not so much what we think the health bar actually is. Oh, yeah, bonus XP for Love God. Ooh, he's creeping up to level 5 already. I swear we're getting up these levels a lot quicker than before. Like, I'm sure, like, the first time around, it took us forever to get to level 5. Although, having said that, I am holding down B for, like, 80% of this game just to get the fast forward on the go. So glad it has that option. If it was, like, too slow, I probably wouldn't have played it this far. Right, everybody sleep. And a little chinwag between Kenny and Love God. What's going on in here, dudes? We've got a lot of time on our hands today. Oh, God, no, not a new look. All right. Here's with it, Love God. Let's see what you look like, mate. Mmm, not bad. I reckon if you had the eyebrows done, I'd be into it. I'd be into it. It's not the worst hairstyle that Love God's ever had. And there they go to level two. Good job, dudes. Good job. All right, they got show off. Um, probably should switch you guys out now then, so you two can get to level two. Uh, have we got anything to buy? Ooh, new outfit for <laughs> Thomas. A fancy tank. Oh my God. That's some My Little Pony looking stuff right there. Look at it. <laughs> oh dear, right. Uh, what color are we gonna go for? I guess blue, aren't we? We've always got to try and keep him on that blue trend. Even though I didn't actually change the cardboard colour. Should have done that. Uh, we're going from a Japanese fan to a lace fan. Quite a big leap as well in stats, actually. We've got five on the attack, and I think it said four up on magic as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, five attack, four magic. GG, dude. GG. Looking as regal as ever. <laughs> Princess Kenny. Uh, right, one more food to give out, and then we can crack on. Spider roll. Speed. Um, you have zero speed. Now, is that because you don't utilise that stat, or we just haven't raised it? I almost want to try it. Nah, I didn't think you'd like it. Okay. Maybe speed just isn't for the tank then. That's all right. Right. Let's get out of here. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, let's just always check the roulette wheel. Every inn seems to hold a different thing. Cheesecake. Mm, not bothered about cheesecake, I don't think. I think I'm all right. I think I'm good. Let's carry on going. Oh, we got two choices now. I guess we're going to go to the left. Because we can maybe grab that chest and then go all the way up to Arthur. I do appreciate as well that there are chests that we've decided to ignore in previous places. Like I think back in the pyramid there's still a chest there. So um, probably off camera I'll go back and uh, quickly go grab a couple of those. Oh my god, love god, here we go. Oh, you want everyone to dance with you. You've got about 50% of, actually more than 50%. I want to say good 60% of them, nearing 70, are dancing with you. That's awesome. So these guys have barely got 10 health each, so this should be good. One more attack from Love God, and I think they'll all be finished. Nice, good job. It's a shame that the tank's move doesn't actually um, have any kind of like effect on different characters either side of it. Ah, it does do that. So depending on how long the swipe is, obviously the, the health goes down or the damage goes down as it goes from right to left when Love God strikes. But I didn't know if the gap would affect it, and it seems to, it seems it does. So it acts as though there would have been allies stood in those spaces. Uh, anyway, leveling up for Love God, we got 4 HP, 3 MP, 1 attack, defense and speed, 2 magic. Thomas going up as well, 3 HP, 2 attack and defense, 1 MP and magic, and he learned wild shot. Fire scatter shot, hitting enemies at random and sometimes friends. Oh god. It better hit hard if it does. 
Uh, HP3, <laughs> my MP2, attack 2. I can't look at him seriously. Uh, magic 3, defense and speed up 1 for Kenny the Princess. God damn it. It is weird seeing our icon on the bottom screen going from right to left. Doesn't happen too often. I've just noticed you're wearing a new outfit. You look pretty good. Oh, why, thank you. Compliment went down well. Aww. Speaking of outfits, didn't we buy that leafy outfit for um for Love God? Or was it a case of he never bought it in the end? Maybe he didn't. Um, head and body. Yeah, only budding flower. And obviously all this other gear here is all for the other classes. Hmm, okay. Oh no! Love God, you broke formation! You didn't have the tank out the front, what's wrong with you? That's oh, alright, it's only two goblins. These guys will go down super quick. It's weird that there's forest goblins inside the cave. I thought they'd only chill out outside. Go on then, let's see the tank's new move. Oh no, he's not going for it yet. Okay. He's holding on to his acorns for now. He's going to chill out for a little bit. What we got then? Anybody leveling up? Nah, I guess we were just leveled. Wasn't going to happen that quick. Unless it was a boss fight. Leafa's clothes are so fashionable. Since when was Talmus into fashion? Oh god, there's juice all over the place. You'd never be short of a glass if you lived here. But if you get tired of drinking it every day. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. It's easy to take things you have in plenty for granted. Like monsters, I guess. Again, dropping those little truth bombs. There's little life lessons in there. Go on, Nintendo. All right, so this should get us that one step closer to the chest. Raise the tank to level five. Good job, dude. Probably going to get that for all the other ones. Yeah, princess five, flower five. Good job. New ally? No? No? No, no new, new ally. Maybe we'll get the new ally when we uh, save the first um, fairy. I'm guessing that might happen. Right, maple leaf. That's the one I was waiting for. I do like maple leaves. The only one that I would prefer is if he could like look like he was a cherry blossom. I mean, that would be like the, the defining factor for me. Uh, anything in the arcade this time around? Let's have a look at roulette. Anything good? Mmm, cherry blossom. Oh wait, yeah. Sorry, I just I looked at it and it was really chill just then. That's literally the one thing I just spoke about. I might actually keep going until I get it. Just seeing as I'm desperate for it. Ah uh, no. Slime jelly. I mean, that's a nice bit of food. Got three of them as well. Let's play again. I want that cherry blossom, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, we're going to be one off. Oh, we were literally next to it. All right. A jolly holiday. Let's send Love God out. What? Sold the ticket. So I fast forwarded then. Do you not feel like going with anyone? Or was it a case if he wasn't roomed with anyone? Oh, damn. Hopefully we still got a cherry blossom on there, right? I'll have one more go. I probably shouldn't waste it too much because we don't really have that much money. I'm hoping that we can... No, nope, no chance. Damn it. Right, let me see what it said this time. Right, Jolly John ticket. So if they're not in the same room together, what does it say? There's nobody to go with. He sold the ticket. It's a shame that it doesn't say, would you like to send somebody else? I mean, I guess it's a guaranteed 500. Do we play again? Oh, I don't know. Nah, leave it. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's not changing the chances. We'll, we'll maybe get it in another in another place. Let's quickly feed them that new uh, jelly that we just got them. Give some to Kenny, because you've not got much health. Probably give you another one, actually, just to get your HP up a bit more. There you go. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for... Love God. We like to spoil Love God rotten, don't we? So, that's good. All right, do we go straight to Arthur or not? Ah, we can go straight to Arthur. Let's have a little chinwag with him first, then. So, it seems like if we'd gone to the right, we could have skipped Arthur and probably progressed further through the cave. But if we get Arthur, we'll get the chest. And that should do us good for the day. Who are we fighting next, though? Any new enemies? Nope, just loads of poms. All right. Oh, wait, they're technically pom-poms now, and there's two of them. Ah, interesting. Big old attack from you guys. Go on, Thomas, finish it, mate. Nope. It's pretty rubbish, actually, isn't he? <laughs> Even Leaf is hitting harder than Thomas. And he's the tank. Right, any level up? No, nope. bonus XP, though, for Love Guard. Creeping up slowly but surely. We got some new rare fluffy marshmallow. That's pretty good. I think it's Love God loves it, doesn't he? And then I think the other characters are okay with it. Mmm. This liquid smell rather lovely. 
Should I drink some, or would that be a bad idea? Hmm, oh yes. Oh, well, we meet again, friends. Do you remember me? I'm Arthur, explorer of all things far flung and remote. I'm doing the tour of the world's most mysterious locations. You know, it's been a while, so have this little souvenir of my travels. A puzzling tablet? Well, see you around, no doubt somewhere. So I'm guessing at the end of the cave then, there's going to be a little, like, door that requires something put into it. That'd be my best guess. It's pretty simple, this game. Right, here we go then, big old spinner. And we got a load of jellies as well. Man, they almost destroyed Kenny just then. Probably should have healed him, in all honesty. Yep, should have healed him. Because otherwise that banana wouldn't have got wasted. Nice, good dodge, dude. Man, they are hitting for seven on Kenny. We've got to up Kenny's defense. Kenny is so weak right now. Nice, good shot on that. Uh, let me try out this then. Gentle Fragrance. We've not tried this just yet. There you go. What kind of heal does it do? And also, what kind of animation is it going to have? Ah, oh, look at his eyes. They go all weird. Oh, and his eyes match it as well. Oh, and it ups the friendship too. Actually, we should do that more often than, than we have so far. That'd be awesome. Are all three of them dancing? Yeah, they are. <laughs> Brilliant. Good job, dude. All right, let's get back in on the attacks then. There's only one more to kill. And I reckon Love God is going to get the final blow. Nope. Kenny was too cool and stole it. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks. One foot in front of the other. Keep marching, keep marching. One, two, three. Open the loot and fill with glee. Fluffy omelettes we like to eat with all of this orange treat. It is weird how they've made it look like it's almost like a lava cave. Ooh, we rescued 450 people. All right. Divine power, HP up to 80. That's quite the leap, actually, of 20. Good Lord. Next one at 500. Thanks, dude. That is a lot of HP sprinkles. We could recover some allies once or twice there. Do we want to stop there? Maybe we will for today. We'll stop there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we will continue through the Citrus Cave and hopefully find Asuna-chan. She's in there somewhere. Ta-ra.